This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast on a glorious day. Because it snowed. Charity's birthday today. Oh. I don't know if it needs to be called glorious. It's a good day. Angels sang. (laughs) And the world became a better place. Do you know what happened on this day? Other Besides than my birth. Besides that. Other than my birth. Um, and we should mention Jill's. It's Jill's birthday too. Jill Schroeder from downstairs. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm Because we that. share it. She's never on the podcast. But no, okay. but she's here in the building. Right. One okay. of our coworkers. Got it. Which, good. What are the odds of that? Mm, two to one, three to one. Is it that good? No. See, that to me is pretty high. Yeah, that sounds pretty high. It'd be higher <laughs> considering than that, how Considering how many people right. work in the building, I'd right. say it's it's that's pretty Do you know how many people work in the building? Maybe About 15? half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm not going to comment on that one. How many people work at City Hall? About half. It was yeah. on this day in 1981, Luke and Laura were married on General Hospital. That's a generational moment. And you, you know what? That was crazy. You can laugh. No, and I but don't. I did. Because that I was, remember. I saw that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm talking about that because everybody remembers that. You talk to anybody over 40, yes. if you don't mind me saying, you just say Luke and Laura. Yes. And they all go, yeah. I was, I would yeah, have been. General Hospital. Well, yeah. I, I would have been two or three. Sorry. But even then, I know right. that episode. I know about sure. that day. So in 1981, Luke and Laura were married on General Hospital. Oh Big my moment. God. It was Big huge. moment. It was also on this day that Lisa Bonet married Lenny Kravitz in 1987. And it is Lisa Bonet's birthday today as well. Okay, right. So that was kind of neat. She was married on this day, on her birthday Didn't in last 1987. Long, though, right? No, it only lasted a few. Well, they got Zoe out of it. Yeah. The actress, Zoe oh, Kravitz. Well, so thanks that's for her that. mom. So sure. yeah. Um, and it was on this day that Will and Kate got engaged. In 2010. See, it's a magical day. Some big things have happened on this day. Mock me if you will, but there it is. Happy birthday. I'm not mocking you. But yeah, so yeah, Happy birthday. Kinda cool. It's an, and we got, as I said, we got snow this morning, which was just an added bonus. And there's levels of knowledge that people have about other people in our company here. Levels. Like the, you know, face value level is somebody gave you a Tim Horton, Tim Horton's gift card, which is great for your birthday. Yes. That was really nice. Yes, it was. Co-workers and then there's yep, Mark's level. level of knowing. <laughs> and I got her an LCBO Be careful. card. <laughs> Do you know what's really sad? And I didn't say that. I didn't say this on the air. That's the second one I've gotten. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. So clearly, I, I'm Ouch. thinking, I'm thinking yeah. that maybe, Yeah. I question what that actually says. <laughs> Does it say more about you or does exactly. it say more about me? Well, the person who gave it to me, I would say, as well, knows me very well. So oh. I, you know that it's going to be put to good use Sure. over the holiday season. Let's put it this way. Charity doesn't look at the back to see if there's an expiry date. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Oh, yeah. No, that'll get you. Maybe I'll buy you. Oh. Maybe that's what you're going to get for Christmas. Maybe I'm getting a gift card from LCBO, LCBO. with my fingerprints on it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. You can go home and dust it. But it wasn't yeah. just that. That no, was very fine. thoughtful, and I appreciate that. Hey, it, it, when, when I when I have it, <laughs> when I go get my Caesars, I will think of you. Um, but the bag of goodies, too. It wasn't just that. That you was also yesterday. Filled. Funny thing is, you know, yeah, we had the card with the Thanks. gift card and ready to go. Yeah. And then uh, Monday, I intended to go shopping because I do a, a fun um, stocking exchange with yes, the with, writer. With Kathy. Kathy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she and I go back and she hangs a stocking on the door of her office. So I don't know. Somewhere along the line, I started putting stuff in it. Mm-hmm. So she found it. It was me. So she put gifts on my desk and now it's just a regular yeah, thing. Yeah, you guys go back and years. forth. Yeah. It's so like I the 12 her, days of Christmas. Yeah. So when does it start? So she says, Monday, December 5th, we start doing that. Okay. That'll give us three weeks up till Christmas. And so I said, on Monday, I'm going to go and I'm going to start buying some of the stuffs for the first week that we're going to do that, and I'm going to buy uh, charity stuff. And then, remember, there wasn't a podcast on Monday? Monday was a bad day, and I forgot. <laughs> Monday was not a good day. So yesterday, when a co-worker mentioned that today was your birthday, it was like, yeah, I know I have the... Oh, but I didn't go shopping for the bag stuff. I totally thought you forgot. I'm going to be honest. Really? Because you ramp things up. Oh, okay. Quite honestly, you will talk about gifts. Yeah. For months. Yeah, Monday wasn't a good day. Months. Yeah. And I haven't heard a peep. So I'm like, okay. That's a, and it's okay. Yeah, well, I don't I don't expect you to give me anything. Oh. 
the treats are nice. Don't get me wrong. And I'm very Come appreciative on. of it. Yeah. But nothing was said. So I'm kind of like, okay, that's yeah, okay. That's I, uh, okay. I don't know how you approach your birthdays as you get more of them. How do I know? Maybe this is a tough one. I never understood that. Okay. It's funny you say that because I yeah. get it. I do. Yeah. I understand it, but I don't get it. I don't, I'm fine with my birthday. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Yeah. I know some people have a really hard time with their birthday. As you said, you don't know how people approach it because it can vary so much. Right. I'm fine with I love my birthday. Okay, because there's also a feeling amongst adults that the age at which you stop yeah. telling people it's your birthday and expecting anything is eight. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Yes, it's your birthday. <laughs> Okay, you're 30 something, you're 40 something. Why do we have to maybe? There are some people like that, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just you and me in the room. Mm -hmm. And we make a big party of people's birthdays in the morning. So here we go. I, it's your birthday. Thank you. I like the acknowledgement. It doesn't have to be a big show, but a happy birthday. I okay. appreciate. And I don't hide from the age. I guess that, that's where I meant. I, I don't hide from the age. People who hide from their age hide from their birthdays in general because they have a problem with their age. Right. I don't Getting understand. Older. Because you said that you're like, you don't have to say your age on air. I'm like, I don't care. I'm 43. 43. 43 years old. It's going to be a great year, too. You said that you really like. I'm 43 excited. 43 was There's one of my best years. About, I don't know if it's the number, because we were talking mm. about numbers before. Yeah. I'm just excited for 43. I had a goal when I, 43, and it was a rhyming goal, and it happened. It happened. I wanted to have something done by 43, yes. and yeah. it happened. And so I look back on 43 very fondly. Good. Started getting the stuff together in my life, I think. Good for you. Well, maybe that'll, 43. Ha maybe that'll happen for me, too. I'll start to get my stuff together. <laughs> Almost 20 years ago. You're gonna get, actually feel like an adult. Get an adult job pretty soon. <laughs> start <laughs> adulting. <laughs> 43. I don't know if I'll ever feel that. What's happening up. when you get home today? Nothing. Boys, do they make cookies? Boys are in do school. No, supper? boys are in school. Husband's at work. Okay. We got hockey tonight. I really don't... I had, I had dinner with my family, um, I say my family, with my parents and my sister and her family Monday night. Okay. Because this week just seems to be really busy for everybody. Oh, yeah. So the boys, uh, all three of them called me this morning, wished me a happy birthday. Other than that, I really don't know because we'll be at the arena tonight. Sure, of course you will. Because <laughs> you live in Campbellford and exactly. it's the winter time. Now, I will say my mother did make me cry on my birthday. Can I share this? Please? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I think that's sweet so as hell. So my parents, again, it doesn't, I don't expect... A, I, like I don't expect people to go overboard for my birthday. I get a card for my parents every year. It's not, it's, and dinner. My mom always makes me a cake, which is wonderful. And yeah. I so appreciate that. So again, going there, that's what I thought would happen. And no, she had a little gift wrapped up and I thought, oh, okay, well, this is, this is new. Unusual. This, yes, this is something extra. Um, and when I opened it, I asked her if I could open She's like, no, no, you got to wait until after dinner because I got to have the camera ready. And that was another indication of what does she do? Like, what is going on here? So when I opened it, um, there was a little jewelry box in it. And I recognized the box. And it was her, it, it's, it's her engagement ring. She gave me her engagement ring. Oh, my gosh. It, it, I, I, of course, and because she wanted the camera because she knew I would tear up. When I was a kid... I loved this. Th that was the ring I gravitated towards. If it was in her jewelry box, it was like a radar went off right. and I was on it. And I, I absolutely loved it and um, got in trouble more than once for playing with it. But I, 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 I just love it. And yeah, I guess she decided it was time. Yeah, that, that scares to, me. To get, well, yeah, and then that thought runs through <laughs> yeah. my mind like, okay, what's going on? Yeah. But she said, she said, you know, she knew... That I liked it. She knew that I hoped to have it one day. And um, she just said, I don't know why I'm still hanging on to it. She can't wear it. It doesn't fit her anymore. So oh, she okay. Said, That's one thing. Yeah. Sorry. She said, Fine. rather than it just sitting there in a box, she said, I know how much you'd like it. So here you go. That's like, sweet. Oh, See, that my is, fear was that, that she was, just, was, oh, that she was, was tired nice. of your dad and I'm just making oh, gosh, room for no. another one. <laughs> what? Oh, no. God, no. What did you say? <laughs> no. Oh, thank heavens. No, no, no. Thank but you. Yeah, That's so, so sweet. That's yeah, great. So I have it on here and yeah, it's I'm quite I'm quite tickled by so it. So good it's, for you. It's very nice. It means a lot. So that was very nice. So happy birthday. So yeah, thank you. Coming up this weekend is the Santa Claus Parade here in Belleville. Yes. Organizer Susan Walsh on the show this morning. And Pumped. I am too. Santa <laughs> Claus is coming to town. I know, Yay! right? Gets here faster every year though, or is it just me? 
No, it's that. It's, it, that happens when we get older, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Everything rolls into the next thing. You think I'd have figured this out by now, but uh, Sunday is the big day. Let's get everybody ready for it. It is, beyond a doubt, the best parade route. It's on Bridge Street. If you stand on Bridge Street, you get a parade. <laughs> That's right? You can't be wrong. No, you can't. <laughs> we are so pumped. We don't have too many sleeps left. Uh, before Santa comes to town, uh, we have the best Santa ever, best Santa float, and four guest families riding with him again this year. Uh, we have a pre-COVID type parade for you people. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's like 75 entries, uh, so make sure that you are bundled up. You've got that clothing layered. Uh, find that hot chocolate, source it wherever you can, or bring your coffee with you along the route. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a long parade, but we can promise that it's going to be an amazing one. And you can stand on Bridge Street, as you already stated, <laughs> just about anywhere and see it. Um, it starts officially in front of the Tim Hortons at Bridge and Sydney Street, and it will travel all the way down Bridge to the Bayview Mall. Now, the official end of the parade, however, is Herkimer and Bridge. Uh, after that fact, it turns into a, uh, an end zone, as if you call it. Uh, we need to keep everybody safe, so we'd like people to stay out of that block if they can. Uh, so Herkimer and Bridge is the official end of the parade. Now, you mentioned the 75 entries, Susan. There's also going to be some collectors en route as well. There are. It's a really important time, obviously, for the firefighters and gleaners uh, specifically. Uh, we know that there's so much suffering going on, and we've all felt the pinch certainly over the last three years with everything we've been through. Uh, if you cannot get out and buy that toy, if you can't get out and buy food, bring some spare change with you. The firefighters will have their boots. Drop your change in their boots if you have to. They will be traveling at the front of the parade before the floats start. So you'll have all the firefighters um, coming along. You will have the Canada Post workers who are volunteering their time to collect letters for Santa. And then you'll have several people helping out with the Gleaner's Food Drive. There'll be a city bus. Uh, Belleville Dodge staff is uh, coming on board as well. And we have an MC for the parade this year. I'm not going to give away his name, but most people are going to know his voice because you're going to hear it from one end of Bridge Street to the other. <laughs> and that's without a microphone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan Walsh of the Chamber of Commerce, always working so hard on community events, and uh, none bigger than the Santa Claus Parade. 4.30 is the time it begins on uh, Sunday, Susan. And you know what's really nice is hearing that, again, we're going to have live music, yes. which took a pause as well throughout the pandemic. Um, yeah, that's been a struggle for bands, and uh, we are down on them this year uh, because people have not been able to gather properly. They haven't been able to get those instruments warmed up properly and rehearsed. Uh, so we have some great bands. We have some local groups on floats. We have some great vocalists to focus, and there's some some. Uh, companies that actually stepped up and got live bands to go on their floats. So we have compensated for that. So there certainly is a lot of live music and two pipe bands, of course, uh, to join us. So please, when those bands go by you, give them a little round of applause. It's been a tough time for them through COVID, trying to stay together. They've lost members. Some members have gotten older. They're trying to get the young involved in these organizations. Uh, the Sea Army and Air Cadets is a great example. They're actually coming together to march together in the parade, and they've put together instrumentalists from each of the cadet groups, and they're going to travel on the whaler, the boat uh, along the street. So when you see these bands, please give them a round of applause. I know they would really appreciate it. And if you have time before the parade, don't forget the Enchanted uh, Holiday Market is going on in downtown Belleville um, before the parade. There's also the Reindeer Ranch at the East Hill Park. There's free hot chocolate. There's live music. The Pink Funnel uh, food truck is there, and you do not want to miss that food. It's awesome. And Glenmore House, of course, is coming on board again with arts and crafts on their lawn. So there's so much to do on Sunday. You don't want to miss any of it, but bundle up. Susan Walsh from Belleville Chamber of Commerce. It sounds like a wonderful event coming up. It always is. So we're all excited about it. Um, I, I, I want to stay on a positive, but I feel we do need to point out this is your final parade in the <laughs> background, is. getting it it's, all together. Yeah, it's very much bittersweet. This is probably, I think this is number 22 for me or 23 oh, wow. uh, because I started doing the parade when I was at the BIA working for the Downtown Association. And it's always been, I have to admit, uh, my favorite event of the year. 
uh, sometimes we get the worst weather possible. Uh, <laughs> but that music and the spirit that takes over in people uh, in the parade just really makes you feel good. Uh, just gives you that nice feeling, makes you realize that the holidays is a time to try and bring people together. And, uh, you know, the whole peace love thing, it uh, really gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling. For that reason, it's always been my favorite. So well, it will be very bittersweet. For yeah, sure. and you're one of my favorite hippies anyway. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> thank you. Call it out like it is. <laughs> Susan, thanks for everything you've been doing yes. now for a very long time, and we look forward to a great parade on Sunday. Thank you so much. We'll see you on Sunday. She's so much fun. Yep. So much fun. And it's done such a wonderful job with the parade through the years that uh, it is, I, I get what she's saying, bittersweet. It'll be sure. very exciting to have it back and you can hear the enthusiasm in her voice. Also a little sad that's going to be her last one that she's organizing. And again, Charity and I are going to be the uh, commentators on your TV. I think as we sit here, maybe... We're going to be situated uh, either on a platform or around Bridge and, and Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Much where we were last, I think I'm thinking where we were last year. Yeah. What's new is we'll be facing the parade this year as opposed to having our backs. And I get, I get when they're filming, they want to see the parade coming. Yeah, we watched the monitors. Yeah, we watched the monitor to see the parade and we had our cheat sheets and information. But we didn't see the parade coming, so we couldn't see the people mm-hmm. until they were like beside us or going ahead of us. So it kind of... The fact that we'll be turned this year facing the parade as it's coming, I'm excited for. It'll be yeah. nice to have that reaction. See, I keep thinking that'll end up to no good. Oh, really? Why? What are you going to do? Know what's coming. No, that's what I mean. What are you going to do, That's Mark? what I don't know. I don't know. It'd be like, oh, <laughs> look who's coming. Are you going to get up and run? Didn't Probably you get up? at you some got up. point. Who went by last year? Doesn't matter. I'll do it to two or three I different know, but people. You did. There was one spe- I thought there was one group. That you always get up and you hug or you... Now, last year might have been mm. questionable, but I know yeah. you got up from your seat. Or am sure. I thinking of there's my children? Somebody. My children got up from their seats a lot. Oh, no. There's always but, people that I hug when I see them. Well, and I know a few of the counselors were yelling at us and saying right. hi. But again, by the time yeah. <laughs> by the time they were going by, that's yeah. what I mean about yeah. that you at home would be seeing something different and we'd be talking to the float that already went by. <laughs> so. 75 floats this That's, weekend. I was going to ask her how many were in last year's. Do you yeah. remember? See, something tells me it was upper 40s. Okay. Maybe That's 50, what I thought. Right? I, okay. Because the it parade was, seemed really yeah. short last year compared so to others. Gonna, it's going to be a big parade. And as you said, the bands are back. We're going to yeah. have music. Yeah. It's, and as Susan pointed out, it's going to be a pre pandemic setup. Like it, it yeah. re- that's what I'm looking forward to that feeling yeah. of being back. And if you're on a float, you're going to leave the former fairgrounds at Bridge and Sydney, mm-hmm. and you're going all the way up to the Bayview Mall. And if you're walking, that's a hike. That's You're going to get your steps under. And you're going to be going side to side, you know, handing out candy canes right or saying mm-hmm. hi to kids. And that's a lot of steps, and that's, that's a good walk. So we'll sit there and watch it go by us. And, uh, and be happy to commentate. So uh, I don't know whether it'll be live on your TV the night of or whether you'll just get to Last see it as was. many times as you want. Uh, but we're going to be there and we're looking forward to it as always. And hoping the weather cooperates. It's, uh, cloudy and zero as we yeah, sit right which now. Which is fine. Sundays I can yeah. do that. Yeah, give me dry. I can do that. Yeah. You can give me get cold, but be dry. Yeah. It's when it gets... Yeah. Rainy. Freezing rainy and uh, <laughs> like slushy. Like last year. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're fair weather paraders, if you can't tell. Um, I don't know. I, I, I can do with a little bit of, of precipitation, but I was not prepared for last no. year. I'll just, yeah, was not quite prepared for that. I am ready for that. I'm going to bring a bag of treats on the side, just pop some stuff in there. It's great. Holiday season's kicking off. We talked a little bit more about... Christmas music this morning because people wanted to know when it starts on the air. I'm wondering when it starts. I know we have Christmas and Quinny up, so people can get their fill that way too. Yep. We're on there, so you yep. can you can hear us too, jabber on about what's going on in the area. Jabber on. So if you want Christmas music 24 seven, you can stream it from our website and through the app Christmas and Quinty. But yeah, I'm kind of curious when it's going to start. Probably on Black Five. Friday. I'm guessing. Is that when it's yeah, somebody okay. on high will let me know. And then, bang, there it is. Although we played Mariah Carey this morning. We did see that Because we're giving away those tickets for her show on Monday. 
And oh my gosh, I hope she sings All I Want for Christmas is You. What else at the is she going to sing? That's my hope, question. Is it just going to be on a loop? Doesn't is she, she do, just going to sing that? Does she do another like, song called Miss You Most at Christmas Time? She I think might, that's but does anybody want to hear it? No. <laughs> no, that just allows you to play another Mariah Carey song that nobody asked for. Exactly. Nobody said. Let's be honest. Okay, truth, truth here. Okay. The only thing people want to see is her sing that song. All I want for you, all I want for Christmas is you. That's right. all I want. Yeah. Honestly. And then maybe Hero. <laughs> no. And then During maybe. During a Christmas show, though? Is that what the expectation is? With Jingle Bells behind. I suppose you can make any song, Christmas song, if you had Jingle Bells. I'm sure she'll do. She's got to do a few things, right? Does she? I don't know. It's a Christmas show. Yeah, so I don't... is there acting? Is there like a. Is oh there, my gosh. Is there a story? Can we of not? The night? I don't know. Can we not give away tickets to this? This sounds horrible. <laughs> well, no, I'm just curious now. Now I want the tickets. Like I wanted the Mariah Carey rock concert, the big lights, and. I don't think last that's what time it she, is. Last time she was in Toronto when she was with Lionel Richie. Okay. I know people who went to that concert. Lionel Richie blew the roof off the place. Oh. I believe it. Mariah Carey left a little bit wanting. Did you see her That's New Year's a couple of years ago? Yeah. Not so good. Not so good. So I think you're right. I think they're going, not tone it down, but they're going to make sure they keep her in her comfort zone. Absolutely. So that whatever she does is of high quality and don't think that you're 21 anymore. Mm-hmm. Don't get and me wrong. That's, that's a good idea. It's Mariah Carey. Yeah. So oh, whatever yeah. she Come does, on. it is yeah. going to be great. But I don't. I never thought of her playing her other hits with it being a Christmas show. I would yeah. think she would, maybe she's got a special guest too. But yeah, you're right. They'll keep her. And it's only two nights. She's doing one in Toronto and then she's doing another one in New York. That's it. And those are the only performances she has so for the holiday season. You're going to be filming these probably? I hope and be so. using them. I would think and, so. So yeah, let's Can't go. Can't call it the Queen of Christmas though. Can't. That's crazy. And that's kind of good, but. Boy, she's ticked, I bet. She's got to be. Honestly? Trademark. Is she not? Okay, who is the queen of Christmas? Nobody then? is, because you can't trademark it. Nobody she is. She can't trademark it. Yeah, and but nobody else tried. So do you want it? Do, do you want me to enter some papers so no. that you can be the queen of Christmas? I'm just curious. I, I, I've... I've referred to her that way. Okay, sure. Okay. So I'm just wondering who... Yeah. I know, like, Darlene Love was arguing it, and another um, another holiday artist who... I'm sorry, I didn't recognize her name. Chan. That's okay. She does um, a lot of Christmas stuff, yeah. Does she? Okay. I'm, I guess. <laughs> I, I would don't assume know. so. Yeah. But I saw a picture of her. She's quite young. So yeah. I think, okay, well, then who... Who, who would you call? Did they just don't want it used at all, or does she feel she's the queen of Christmas? That's what I thought at first. I think because of the solemnity of the hall. I mean, it's one thing if Michael Jackson's estate said we would like to trademark King of Pop. Is it and not trademarked? I don't think it is. We just call him that. Yeah. And somewhere along the line, somebody else is going to be called the King of Pop, and then for about ten minutes, there's going to be a make believe argument about it, and that'll be like, okay, you can have it. But to trademark something around Christmas, hmm. True. Gets people's backs up. I guess because but. I was thinking of Michael Jackson, even Elvis, king of rock and roll. Sure. It's not trademark, but when you say it, everybody knows it. So you okay. almost don't have to do it. I wonder if that was part of the tongue in cheek. It's like, well, there's a king of pop and a king of rock and roll. I want to be king, the queen of Christmas. Queen, and someone argued it and decided, nope, that's not going to happen. And you can't do it. Yeah, well, you know, okay. the, I mean, the American court system, what else do they have to talk about? There's nothing else going oh on gosh. down there that they can <laughs> actually sit down and deliberate. Oh, thank you. With a great deal of time, <laughs> the importance of whether Mariah Carey should be known as the queen of Christmas. And now they can take the rest of the year off. <sighs> Because there's nothing else to talk about down there. <laughs> and they can stay there. Okay. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Happy birthday. Thank you. To you. Back at it tomorrow morning. It is a throwback Thursday in honor of the weather beginning. T Mark, Bangles, Hazy Shade of Winter, Charity ruined it all <laughs> by deciding That's to get not even. That's fair. Decide to get even for last week's loss by bringing in the big Guns and Roses November <laughs> rain. Oh my gosh! How am I supposed to, you know, compete with that? But get your votes in. Winning songs coming up at the eight o'clock news tomorrow. Oh, Mark. Are brought to you by Burger Revolution. Have yourself a great day. We'll talk tomorrow.